Hey there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Nates and today we're gonna replicate the behavior of the hover animation in review. So you have probably seen review before and when you hover, the image and the text jump out. This card jumps up and there's a bit more uh, shadow in the back. So uh, we're gonna replicate this in Storyline and it's not super difficult, so let's do it right now. So here's my stage and first we're gonna add some shadow here. This rectangle has no shadow so let's jump in and add some shadow. And it should be pretty light just like there so let's say 90% transparency. Now let's do the hover thing first. So let's focus on the hover state. So we're gonna edit state, hover. And now we want to increase that shadow effect. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this uh, rectangle here. And now I will go under line and we will remove the color of the line. We don't want that because this is just the shadow. We're going to put this in the background. And we're going to say the shadow is now a bit bigger. So 104% and less transparency. So stronger, let's say 80% like this. And we're gonna put it here and send it to back. And now under animations, we want this to fade in and fade out when you leave the state with the heat, the hover state. So fade 25, fade 25, and let's have a quick, quick preview. Okay, nice effect there. Now the animations. Let's insert a motion path, animations, add motion path, and we're gonna go up 15 pixels. Yes, I have tested this beforehand. So 15 pixels is just the right amount for this. And let's, and we want the same timing like the hover, the, the, the shadow effect, so 25. And we're gonna call it up. And uh, there's one more setting. I think the direction is like this. So it, at the end, it should slowly, you know, um, decrease the speed. So we're gonna select out. Okay, and we want to change this. We want to move this up when state of our rectangle is hover. Now, maybe you would want to change this to when mouse hovers over. But from my experience, it's not the best practice. Sometimes this could have some strange consequences. It doesn't work exactly as, uh, as, you, as you would expect. So going with the states is a safer bet. Okay. Now we want one more animation. So I'm just gonna duplicate this one. And let me zoom in. Uh, so this one, we can quickly see this one is the other one. So let's call this one down. And I'll just reverse these two. So start and end position, it's all absolute. Uh, and we could go with, you know, relative settings and so on, but it's a simple example. We're just going up and down, so that's fine. Uh, down, da da da, should be all good. Let's zoom out. And we're just gonna, we're gonna duplicate this trigger and move down when state not normal, don't go with normal, because it could trigger at the beginning of the slide. So we want to say, is not hover. Makes sense. And of course, as always, make sure you rename these guys so uh, or girls, so you know what's exactly happening, which motion path is this. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna get lost with motion path one, two, three, 24. You don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, look at this nice animation. You just want to hover over this all day. <laughs> okay, I think this one was pretty easy today. Hope you have a great rest of the day or tomorrow or whatever. And I'll talk to you in the next video.